There we go. Mm -hmm. Formal wear. Anako. There's a name for this Let's place? Let's go. Yeah, every island has like its own name. I guess I'll, I'll let you take the lead on this one. Oh, wait, wait. Ooh, mushrooms. You. Or seeds? I yeah, have some I bad it. news. What? Ugh, you found another seed, didn't you? Yes. <laughs> oh, look. That's how we got here. Are you sure we didn't come this way? Yeah. Maybe. Uh, what about the nest? Do you know which way that is? I think somewhere in that direction. But I can't really tell with this mist. At least from here, we can see the whole flow bridge. Yeah. Hard to tell when you're inside of it, but that thing is massive. And from here, you'd never know this is just millions of flow threads woven together. Just millions of flow threads? <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm wondering what the universe would look like without the flow arcs. For one thing, we wouldn't be here to talk about it. How do you mean? The flow bridges are linking together two points in space, correct? Carry on. Anytime matter goes in the vicinity of these bridges, it's transported from one end to the other. Matter gathers at either end of the bridge, and that's what ends up creating these planets. Without flow bridges, no planets. Without planets, no life would happen. Without life happening? No us. Wait, so th they say it's the flow bridges that are responsible for planets? Guess so. Hmm. Unless there's something about flow that they don't know about. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah, where does the flow come from? Or... What, what would the not necessarily be? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I want to know where the flow comes from. Sure. Where does the flow come from, though? I thought it was supposed to be generated inside planetary cores. Yes. The pressure that's being exerted by matter allows flow to stabilize in the shape of threads. So? Don't you see the issue? If the flow bridges allow for the creation of planets, and the planets allow for the creation of flow bridges... Which one came first? The flow bridges the <laughs> or the planets? Uh, I guess a planet had to be there before. Mm. Unless the flow could... No. <laughs> then Chicken maybe or the, the stars would... Or maybe science cannot explain everything. And there are mysteries which are just bigger than you. <sighs> okay, I give up. K0, universe one. Though, that wouldn't make sense in the context of this universe because there are multiple flow bridges on this one Another planet. Tremor. It's as if Source were still breaking into fragments. Uh, if only it would stop fragmenting beneath our feet. Oh. Into the void. Wow, that's a lot. There's a lot of, yep, a lot of corruption around here. Whoa, what is that? A raptor? Bird, double impact. All set. But why didn't it go off? I don't know, bugs. See, I, I always have to like double tap to get it to go. Oh, shield. I got your back. Or you're doing a blast? Okay, looks like it's weak to blast. Oh, except it's firing on me. Let's pacify. Oh, I started doing it, but oh well. It's okay. We got him. Oh, it's green. Green. It's very green. Whistle. Oh no. Poor guy. <laughs> Wait, did you scare him and he toppled over? It looks like that, yes. All this rust is starting to feel heavy. They're tailing us. Uh oh. Squawk bark. Blast dual blast. Wreck bird thing. No survive bird. Nope. 
Burn still smack. All right, I'll just shoot it. Oh, all right. Okay. Oh, that one. Let's pacify it. Uh, is it me? Or did he just bloot and grow more menacing all of a sudden? Guess he oh. didn't approve our pacifying his friend. Oh, interesting. So the bugs actually get larger if you pacify it. Maybe we should stop pestering him. Come on, <laughs> it's just a bit of fun. Why am I always the one leading? So I get to stare at your butt. It's not a bad strategy. <laughs> Going to be just sweeping back and forth with the little blue thing. It's fun. The music here is real sad. Maybe not sad, mellow. Yeah, it is. Oh. Contemplative, I would say. Uh, are we eating? So okay, dual blast. We should get rid of it. Pacify. I guess I'll start doing impacts. But the bugs might not like that. Eh, no one's attacking. I should have just done something else. Alright, pacify all. Yep. There we go. Definitely should find a uh, camp location. Mm -hmm. Last one there is a moldy apple dew. There's one to the left. Yeah, well, let's go this way. Oh, mushrooms, mushrooms. Oh, oh. I thought I saw Catalyst something going over here. A bulbous plant from the Suppilaceous family. Catilla sparata scale. This flower has an incredible feature. It can flap its petals to send olfactory signals upwards and attract pollinators in the sky. I wasn't asking. Uh-oh. Whoa-oh. But you can tell me what that is. Huh. Well, that's a big one. A little large for a pollinator. But she doesn't look very aggressive. Why is she flying in place like this? She may be attracted by our smell. Or Plant smell. by something that's in our pocket. Do you want an apple dew? Oh, okay. Nope, no apple dew. Uh some rust? What are you doing? Why would she want some rust? Uh, this? Ah! She likes this. What was that? Leftover roasted apple dews. She didn't want apple dews, but roasted apple dews are good. Hmm. Such is the power of cooking. Uh, she has fine taste. Anyway, she doesn't seem to have any issue traveling from one islet to the other. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Fast travel mount? Yes, and that's a very bad idea. We must not be thinking about the same thing. Because I'm thinking about a rather excellent idea. I'm pretty sure that you're thinking what I'm thinking that you're thinking. Oh yeah? Go on then. What am I thinking? You're thinking about climbing up on top of her so we could ride her to other islets. Oh. Oh. Yes. Can you explain to me why this is a bad idea? Ever heard of the law of attraction? Gravitational pull? Broken bones? Come on, you. I thought you loved flying. Yes, with seats and safety belts. Oh yeah, <laughs> and cockpits too. Plus, how do you expect to climb on top of her? <laughs> She'll never cooperate. We just fed her. We're buddies now. Kay, you're out of your mind. If I manage to get on top of her, you'll follow? And if you don't manage? I will rub your feet every day for a week. Two weeks. Ten days. Sold. Do your worst. <clears throat> Ready to get on board? <laughs> she even let down a little wing. 
Pat's ass. Do yeah. I have a choice? A bet is a bet. Ugh, I hate you, Kay. No, you're gonna love it. You'll see. Huh. Why isn't she moving? Maybe she's waiting for directions. Let me try. Ride to an islet. Do you want to go back to the one with the... Where's the one that had the part that we needed? This one. Okay. Whoa! Off we go. Yeah, let's go back. That way we can eat. Oh, this is so cute. It's super there was, cute. There wasn't more of a cutscene? Well, I think we unlocked that or her. That worked. She understood. Thank you. Uh... <laughs> I'm afraid that's going to be a bit tough for us to say. Burble? Can we call you Burble? All right. Burble it is. Hey, Burble. Are you sticking around? We might want to go back to where we came from. Time to go. That's cute. I, I've noticed that there's been an awful lot of games particularly sci-fi ones, though some fantasy ones too, that have sky mantas. Yeah. I think, is it just because when you see them gliding about gracefully in the ocean, people imagine what it would be like if they do so mm -hmm. on land? Yeah. Or, or in the air, I should say. Is that it? Ready to bring back this engine hood? Yeah, sure. Yeah, I just killed yes, a whole army of them Let's in Demon's go. Souls. <laughs> It was, that's a fun right, boss you had fight. A, yeah, you had a, it was a thunder. Yeah, you get a giant one. Yeah. thunder sword. Oh, that's really cute. Ah, uh, Chibis. She looks creepy. Let me know if I can <laughs> help. Ah. What was that? A hiccup? Hot. Or a burp? Or a what? It was a burble. Okay. I am happy to say that is over and done with. Oh, hey, the hole is gone. Yep. You know, that is one nice vehicle. Of course. I'm the one who built it. Hmm. Do you still consider this the same nest as the one you fixed up as a teenager? What do you mean? Well, we just changed the engine hood. I just changed the engine hood. Yes. Okay, you did. But this isn't the first thing you've changed on the nest. And I hope it isn't the last one either. So, my question is... At what point does the nest, the one at the beginning, stop being the nest? Was it the first time you changed a part? Or will it be when you replace the last original part? Assuming you haven't done so yet. Does it happen sometime in between? Afterward? And even then, before you fixed it up the first time, all the spare parts that would eventually make up the nest, were they already the nest? <laughs> I think when it comes to machines like that, I mean, ultimately the nest is still the nest because it is yeah, the ship. Yeah, he's, he's just posing ship of Theseus at her. The ship, ship. Mm hmm Yeah, K, are you still K? What is it? Most of the cells in our bodies replace themselves every seven years? Something like that, yeah. Are you still the same person? It definitely changed. Mm hmm But you're physically the same person. What about you? Are you still Kay? Huh? Your body cells are constantly renewing, aren't they? Ever since you were born, you probably don't have that many cells in common with the K from the beginning. Actually, uh -huh. you two may not have a single cell in common. So, are you still Kay? I'll let you ponder that one. <laughs> Kay, we need to go home now. You can think about that tomorrow, okay? <laughs> he's just outside being like, oh uh... no. Especially because he's a biologist. Wait, are people saying seven weeks? That seems way too short a period of time. What? What? Better. What is it? Yes. Thank you. Oh. Oh. Mm. They this hugged isn't gonna and go very healed. far without rust. Uh, 
You sleepy? No, no. I'm just unwinding. The color palette they use reminds me of the game that I was playing Among Trees. Gosh, I hope they add multiplayer to that. I think you would love that game. Now I'm curious as to how often our cells replace themselves because I always I was I was always told it was seven years. Yeah, seven weeks I think is too quick. Uh, maybe seven months? Nah, I know it's seven. Seven of something. I can look it up. Mm -hmm. Here. Hey, I'm just genuinely curious. Why don't you cook? S oh. I can't. Yeah, I know. You, we cannot cook without one another. Just always looking to see if there's any changes. I don't think so. Wait, what's over right here? A chat? Oh, we can oh, actually yeah, yeah. initiate chats. Chat, chat. You know, this planet in bits is pretty weird. <laughs> Are you just realizing this now? No, but I mean, having self-standing bits gravitating around a larger core would make sense. It could be a sign of a young planet still in formation. But why would the apiary try to colonize such a jumble? From a logistical standpoint, it makes no sense. That's true. They must have had a very good reason. Unless... What? Planet broke apart. Unless Source wasn't in this condition when they arrived. What? Mm -hmm. What do you mean? Did the apiary cause this to happen? I didn't say that, but it's a possibility. If we keep on exploring, we should know more. Seven to ten years. Seven to ten years? Yes, I was right. Mm -hmm. About the seven years bit. getting really tired by the way okay well the characters are all healthy we've yeah. progressed the plot a little let's bit let's make some food at the very least okay sure i just it's a bit late to start cooking food eight hours it's oh. late to start cooking food uh, glaze boba it's kind of a regressive dish isn't it hmm? why'd you say that well, it's a lot of fat and carbs. You're usually more fine dining. Hmm, that's true. There's more if you want. Definitely. <laughs> what about one-handed? Can you do a one-handed push-up? One-handed push-ups are full of blued. They're for show-offs. Okay, but can you do it? Never tried. As if. You just can't do it. I'm sure I could. Go ahead then. Do it. No, I told you it's full of blute. I don't want to pop my shoulder or throw up my back. Your loss. I mean, I used to find the two-handed push-ups impressive. But I'm starting to get used to them. You'll have to freshen up. <laughs> What's the something new gonna be? I don't know. Do you want to see something new? Yes. Are you ready? Yes. Ready? <clears throat> Back push-ups. Whoa. Uh, so, so strong. How could I possibly resist? No one's asking you to resist. That is true. I thought he was going to put them down behind his back and... Would that be... No, that wouldn't be good for triceps or deltoids or anything. Uh, I think that would hurt your shoulders more if you try to do it the opposite way. Boba and spice. Spice me up, Scotty. <laughs> oh, spice. Sorry. Oh, but the mushroom oh, cops. Yeah. Mushrooms. Chuck them in. I want to know what happens. Veggie kebabs. Oh, let's cook more. Okay, why don't we just see what Apple do? Why is it that only you have access to the spice? Uh, well, Apple Dews plus medicinal mushrooms. Let's go. Oh, oh, that looks like a cake. Marble Apple Dew cake. Oh. We know we still need to make the, that cheesecake with the gelatin and everything on top of it and the dripping honey. <laughs> why are you whimpering now? <laughs> So, so good. 
spice. Okay. We don't have enough caps anyway. Yep. I think you have to select, maybe? No, you have to let go. Oh, sorry. Uh, this, the whole letting go the, of the button thing is just weird. I just... I, I suppose I'm used to the whole battle thing. Yeah. Well, no, it it behaves the same way. You just hold it in and then you let go when it's maxed. Mm-hmm. Just not used to that. I'm used to pressing buttons as opposed to holding. Okay. Uh, let's cook more. And then let's just cancel out. I don't think we need to eat more. Maybe? Wait, we're canceling? Yeah. Here's how hungry they are. Well, they said they couldn't eat now because it was too late. And it looks like they're already full. Yeah, they're full, full up. Mm-hmm. Oh, they didn't get the sleeping bonus. Let's... Hey, there's the map. Mm. Oh, interesting. Wait, we didn't get to finish the rest of Binaco because we jumped on the yeah. critter too soon? Yeah. Should we go back there and finish it? Um, we could. So, the moral of the story is Shell needs to actually fill her water bottle up. Oh. Now, we're still injured. So, we're going to bed. <laughs> I'd be interested to see what else is on that island where we got... Yeah, that's the plan. Bur burble? Yeah, we actually have a burble station here. This late? Oh. A cutting of Catalyst Barada. That way, we won't have to walk to reach remote islets. <laughs> when do we ever have to walk to go anywhere? She's referring to, obviously, them scooting around on those flow... Gauntlet. Well, not. What would they be? Boots? Flow boots? Yeah, jet boots. Effectively. Mm -hmm. When did we ever walk to go somewhere? Manner of speaking. You can nitpick, or you can help me out. What do I need to do? Give it a little love. We're almost about to level again. Wow. Well, we did fight a lot. She is not a good cook. <laughs> oh, no. I love these load screens. They're great. Two things I'm jealous of. I would say that we're both good cooks. Except you don't really apply I yourself spe that often. I specialize. Oh. What am I doing? Yeah. Cancel. Why are we, why are we cooking? Don't want to make Man. you hungry again. Whenever, whenever I see stuff like this, it just makes me want to play uh, Battle Chef Brigade. Again. And I wonder when our card game is going to come, the one that's about the space food. Hmm. So there's kind of an apple dew taste. It's in there. Well that was tasty. Uh didn't you like it? I did. But I'm thinking that there must be some way to make it better. Maybe if we switched up the ingredients? I have noticed something. Huh? Has she ever the been in a different... apple should be ready by now. Looks like it is. A different what? She always seems to be in the same three-quarter position, where he does have a front oh, you position mean... and a three-quarter position for his illustrations. That's a good point. I don't know. I just don't There's know There's an I've uprising in the apiary. Okay. The factories on down are at a standstill. Beauty is complete havoc. The revolutionary forces have stood heavy losses, but everything could still change. The oh. remaining able-bodied survivors have taken up arms and gather on top to launch the last offensive. Your many years working in a revolutionary cell have turned you into a natural leader. The crowd behind you is awaiting instructions. Role-playing? Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought that he was giving a history lesson, but no. Okay. So the revolutionaries have taken over the top. Yep. Let's redirect the matchmaker. <laughs> She's playing I, out her fantasies. I march on the council. Wait, why do you want to redirect the matchmaker? Vendetta. 
But aren't we supposed to march on the council? Yeah, but let's be honest here. If you were in a situation where you could burn down the place that keeps stealing your artwork, <laughs> you might want to throw a Molotov or two on the way. Mm hmm I redirect to the matchmaker. Some of the revolutionaries in your group have taken issue with your decision. They were in favor of unseating the council, but they still believe the matchmaker is the only defense against the mark. Borons. They are wanting to split up. They head for the council. Oh, wait. What is the mark? Why I don't is know. The, why is the matchmaker necessary to combat the mark? I don't know. I would say let them do it. Right? All right. Because yeah. they can split off? Sure. Let them do it. We don't need these cowardly cowards. The raging mass <laughs> quickly splits into two groups. Most of the revolutionaries are still behind you, but you can feel that their confidence has been shaken. You finally arrive in front of the matchmaker's server room. But server. as you start ramming into the doors, they open on their own, unleashing an army of hornet drones who are hiding inside. Bloot! The hornets charge. They neutralize your first line within a few seconds. Some of them are moving swiftly towards your flanks. They're trying to surround you. So the, is the matchmaker a, a machine? It might be, yeah. Yeah, it might be a computer that, what, analyzes people's compatibility and makes matches that way? It might also just put people into their, like, defined role mm. in society, give oh. them their jobs, control where they live. Like, it might be pretty aggressive. Oh, yeah. Th that has definitely occurred in some science fiction that I've seen, where they have a machine that allocates people. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, we press on. Press on. We press on. Press on. You shout your order, but it's too late. You are too disorganized, but especially you are too few. Ah. The line of hornets manages to cordon you off. You are trapped, stuck in place. Through one of the hornets' audio chat, you can hear that the other group has had the same fate. It's because you feel we let the end them go. Coming. The revolution has been stifled. Suddenly. Right under your feet, a trap door opens. You see K signaling for you to come down. <laughs> really? Yeah. Hey, pretty boy. No time to chat. You go down the ladder. The underground tunnels lead you to a secret spatial port where the nest is awaiting you, ready to take off in case things take a turn. And take a turn they do. K takes your hand to lead you in. <laughs> Ooh boy! All in! Oh no! All in! Oh god! Romance the cave! Press his body against mine. After being routed by the hornets, the warmth of his body feels very comforting. <laughs> Kay lays his hands below your hips and presses his lips against yours. <laughs> Grab his butt. Grab his butt. Grab the butt. Grab the butt. <laughs> Grab the butt. <laughs> I grab his butt. You slip your hands in the back of his pants and dig your nails into the flesh of his buttocks. <laughs> you feel them tightening with surprise. Kay puts his hand behind your neck and a shiver goes through your body. You can no longer hear the commotion outside. Your spirit is captured by the taste of his saliva, the smell of his sweat. Ooh. A little bit, a little bit much. Uh, uh, <laughs> what is this? I, I, I don't know. Okay, so the it's thing is—it's called role-playing shell. The thing is, the bottom one—that—that that means that, like, he's taking the predatory position. Okay, fine. His way. She, she, you're right. <laughs> she's going for the butt. <laughs> Better access to butt. More, more butt. <laughs> uh. I unbutton his pants. At first, held tight by his erection. <laughs> until it whispers away. And then you slip your hand into Kay's underwear. Okay, stop. Stop talking. <laughs> oh, gosh. Show me. 
Uh, all right. Then all level right. up. All right then. Um. Ooh, baby. <laughs> 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 Oh, man, I'm laugh crying. That's funny. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> In bed snack time. <laughs> In bed snack time. How them apple juice taste. Uh. Whew. Now it makes me wonder what would have happened if we had kept the forces together. We go if they out would and explore, I would love that. If we had I'm going. What? Who's with me? I am. Oh, you mean if, if we had chosen to? Right well, to order them to may, stay together. May, maybe they would have had enough people together. So, oh, it actually worked. <laughs> like I told you. Love can do miracles. That and cutting enhancing hormones. Now we just need to see if it works. Burble! <laughs> I knew she could never resist my cooking. All right, shall we go for a ride? Aw, if only if Burble agrees. Only if Burble agrees. I think that Burble will agree to anything if we save a plate for her. Oh. We do actually have to... You have to leave something there. Bribe. Well, you know me. I don't... I only accept free rides. <laughs> what? Peace out, Burble. We ain't feeding you biscuits. Oh. But don't you want to go on a magic Burble ride? Let me show you what's left Come on, in this the way. world. Rocky splintering splendor. <laughs> I mean, this it's, one it was splendid, but shape. I know what you're saying. <laughs> For real. Rocky splintering concerning. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable sights. What would you say? For the being sailed by critters, lasting and passing. Taking off. Um. Hmm. What's going on? Punching rocks. <laughs> we're not punching rocks. I mean, we're, we're kind punching of the <laughs> rocks off things, we're punching which the sounds rock. really weird all of a sudden. <laughs> Maybe I'm in the kind of mood. <laughs> This is a pretty one. Anyway, uh, to answer your question of what may uh, may have happened, uh, let's see, where are we going? Are Where's you following? Going? There... Wait, what? Uh, is there? Oh yeah, there's an area over here. Uh, where the heck is the? Oh wait, no, that was it. That's where we huh? wanted to go. Yeah, we want to go this way. I think. Wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa! It's not very warm. Get swimming. Oh, we had a juice. You'll warm up. 